let me know how much you like this video um, if you like it comment below let, let me know if I should make a part two or not of me parting and scrapping the car out um, so yeah because if I get no interest I'm not gonna make a part two so yeah let me know in the comments down below well the parting out and scrapping of this car is gonna commence um, what I'm keeping for sure is the hood um, the engine transmission clutch pedal assembly everything related to the manual transmission drive shaft cross member master slave cylinder I'm probably gonna keep the gauges and I'm thinking I'm gonna cut here and down here somewhere and keep the top it's not that bad rusted I kind of peeled this off and looked underneath it ain't rotten like a lot of these cars get underneath there so I got that going for me uh, I mean the seats aren't great actually they're not good at all um, door panels and stuff aren't in bad shape the dash pad itself doesn't look bad from the top I don't see any major cracks or nothing which is kind of amazing I think so but why is this car getting scrapped well go underneath this car that's the floor or lack thereof um, you can kind of see they already booger weld a plate there um, right around there is pretty rotten I think the other side's a little worse you can see right here she's pretty bad so really the shell of this car is no good is it salvageable I'm sure if you stuck enough money into it, it probably is but not to this guy I got another one that's actually in better shape that one just needs a driver's side floor pan because it's just rotted right where the floor sinks down and that's it the rest of it's actually in pretty good shape the rest of the car is in a lot better shape this one rear quarters are pretty shot and then I put a good size dent in the passenger fender
I got most of the stuff out of the interior I want, except for the column and pedal assembly. Next, I'm going to work on pulling the motor, the hood, maybe the driver fender, depending on how well kind of what kind of shape it's in. Maybe the front bumper depends. I don't know. Maybe not the front bumper. I can see it's all busted up. So, kind of salvage what little good parts are on this car. I'm probably going to keep the subframe eventually when I haul it, when I put it on the trailer, including the rear axle. Just spare parts. Other than that, that's about it. So. you made it to the end of the video um let me know if there's anything else you want to see maybe something you want to see me do better help me move my videos along here get get better um i don't get a whole lot of views so it's kind of hard to get that to happen so um yeah and the typical stuff don't forget to like and subscribe so yeah uh, like I said let, let me know if you want to see more of this car getting parted and slash scrapped out um, when I do the five-speed swap on the other car I'm gonna do a pretty I'm gonna try to do a pretty good job at uh, filming that making sure I get a lot of that done because I think that would intrigue a lot of people because I know that's always um, pe pe people are always asking about that like oh how hard does it do a five speed five speed swap in one of these cars it's like well I know I did my fourth gen Camaro so I'm assuming this would be probably something close to the same so yeah so yeah like I said let, let me know in the comments down below what you think what you should do better what you liked uh, if you want to see more, yep.